Kyle Hessian with XPM, a Valiantis company, uh, here with our video on managing my account. We're going to talk about the profile, uh, notifications, and personal space. This one will be quick. Um, so with this one, on the top right, we have our profile button, and I'll start by going to personal space. Um, here is where if we don't have it already enabled, uh, we would go to turn this on. Um, you can unstar your personal space as well if you don't want it to automatically always show up here. Um, and then, uh, again, the point of a personal space is this is where you do your drafting. Um, you can invite people into your pages um, to collaborate if you want. Um, and then you can also um, then copy finished content uh, onto the public spaces where it's actually intended to be once it is finished. Uh, from here, uh, then we'll go back to the profile, um, oh, the actual profile itself. Um, this is where you go to manage your account. Uh, you can't actually change anything on this menu until you hit the manage your account button. But then from there, you can give your job title, your company, your time, change your time zone, etc. Um, that's that one. Uh, from tasks, um, you have a filter of uh, tasks where you have at mentioned people. Um, if you've been assigned any, you have this filter. And then any that you have made, you have this filter. And then you can actually click to see where it is. So this is pretty cool to uh, track any action items you might have uh, in Confluence that you need to follow up on. Uh, personal settings, this is where you go to uh, turn off all those notifications. I'm gonna bring myself over here and get this menu over here. And so from here, uh, you can uh, enable your keyboard shortcuts. You can turn them off. Um, you can have your text select, your page card hover, um, whether or not you want it there. Um, you can then also uh, go change your password from here. I go back. Um, your email settings uh, touched on on the other video. So just know you can hit the edit button and you can turn as many of these off as you want. Um, if you find that you are missing out on things, gradually turn them back on. But Confluence by default is pretty noisy. So make sure you come here and uh, unsubscribe yourself from all the things you don't want to be hearing about. Um, and then do you want these on or off as an editor? Um, just know that this might save you time if you take a look at it. Uh, finally, um, we've already seen tasks, but then just you could, this is where you can also access um, uh, drafts you've saved for later, um, pages that you are actively watching, you get a whole list. Um, and then uh, just you can see um, who you're following within Confluence and not. Um, so that, that concludes this video on just how to manage your account, uh, make Confluence a little less noisy, and make sure you're only hearing what you need to actually be hearing about. So hope this was useful. Uh, thanks a lot.